SQL injection or SQL injection is a code injection technique used to attack data driven applications in which malicious SQL statements are inserted into an entry field for execution. It can be retrieving some tables or dumping the old database contents. Code injection is the exploitation of a computer bug that is caused by processing invalid data. Injection is used by an attacker to introduce code into the vulnerable computer program and change the course of its execution. The result of successful code injection can be disastrous. Code injection technique is popular in system hacking, cracking, to gain information, privilege escalation, or unauthorized access to system. SQL injection is mostly known as an attack vector and can be used to attack any type of SQL database. SQL injection attacks allow attackers to spoof identify, tamper with existing data, cause repudiation issues such as voiding transactions or changing balances, allow the complete disclosure of all data on the system, destroy the data or make it otherwise unavailable and become administrators of the database server. The four main classes of SQL injection are Classic SQLi, Blind Parents SQLi, Database Management System Specific SQLi, Compound SQLi. Compound SQL injection is SQL injection plus insufficient authentication or DDoS attacks or DNS hijacking or cross-site scripting. Stormworm is also one representation of compounded SQL injection. Technical implementations of SQL injection are incorrectly filtered escape characters, incorrect type handling, blind SQL injection, conditional responses, and second order SQL injection. Other techniques being authorization bypass, that is bypass logon forms, using select command, that is to retrieve data from database, using insert command, that is add information to the database, using SQL Server stored procedures, use single quote in the input, etc. This form of SQL injection occurs when the user input is not filtered for escape characters and is then passed into a SQL statement. The result is potential manipulation of the statements performed on the database by the end user of the application. This line of code illustrates this vulnerability. This line of code illustrates this vulnerability. Select star from users where name equals to username variable. This SQL code is designed to retrieve the records of the specific username from its table of users. However, if the username variable is crafted in a specific way by a malicious user, a SQL statement may do more than the code author intended. For example, setting the username variable as R1 equals to 1 or using the other lines like this. With this input, the SQL statements will be selected star from users where name equals to space or 1 equals to 1. Evaluation of 1 equals to 1 is always true. This will retrieve all the records from the user's table. Let us see another example. This query can drop the table users, that's deletion of table, and also retrieving the, all the data from the user info table. This SQL statement with this input will be select star from users with name equals to a semicolon, that is one statement and drop table users that is delete and this is next statement select star from users info where t equals to t which is always true this will retrieve all the records from the table user info php's mysql query function do not allow this kind of inputs for security reasons this prevents attackers from injecting entirely separate queries but doesn't stop them from modifying queries Incorrect type handling. This form of SQL injection occurs when a user supplied field is not strongly typed or not checked for type constraints. This could take place when a numeric field is to be used in SQL statement, but the programmer makes no checks to validate that the user supplied input is a numeric. For example, select star from user info where ID is ABC. From this statement, ID may be a numeric. 
However, if it is in fact a string, then the end user may manipulate the statement as they choose, thereby bypassing the need for escape characters. For example, setting the variable abc to abc equals to one drop table users. This SQL becomes select star from user info where id is one drop table users. This will delete the table users from the database. This can have serious repercussions as it can drop the table users. Blind SQL injection or B-SQL injection. This is used when a web application is vulnerable to a SQL injection, but the results of the injection are not visible to the attacker. Hacker test SQL injection vulnerability with inputs, which would cause server to generate invalid SQL query. This type of attack has been considered time intensive because a new statement needed to be crafted for each bit recovered. And depending on its structure, the attack may consist of many unsuccessful requests. There are several tools that can automate these attacks once the location of the vulnerability and the target information has been established. Conditional responses. This is one type of blind SQL injection which forces the database to evaluate a logical statement. As an example, a book review website uses a query string to determine which book review to display. This would cause the server to run the query select star from book reviews where id is the id parameter variable. The next one is second order SQL injection. This occurs when submitted values contain malicious commands that are stored rather than executed immediately. Thanks for watching.